मैं कमिंग सी यू हैव अ गुड रेज्यूम है गुड प्रोजेक्ट्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी कॉन्ट आई यू राइट ओके सर थैंक यू Have you worked on your GitHub profile? This guy got rejected, even though he worked really, really hard. And you can also get rejected if you do the same mistake of. not showcasing your work on github welcome to the second video of the github playlist so in this video i'll guide you on making your github profile look from this to this if you don't know about git and github i would suggest you to watch our previous video so in this video we'll discuss on how to build a great profile to build a great profile first you need to modify the readme file which is our main focus in this video so before diving into the readme file let us discuss why is a github profile important it's like a live resume which contains your real time project links and is a great indicator that tells about your talent and how hard working you are for example in this profile the contribution graph looks like this followers stars and the repo quality to the contrast take this person's profile in which the contribution graph looks like this followers stars and the repo quality among these two profiles whom do you want to have of course the person with the great profile now let's start building our profile we'll start off with the readme file if you want to know about different elements of github check out our previous video so what's exactly is readme on screen there are few examples of great profiles it's nothing but a readme file so for your profile readme think of it as a personal landing page which can include sections like about me skills projects and also contact information so that potential employers or collaborators can easily reach out to you so let's start building our profile so this is my github profile you can see a plus button on the top right corner we'll click on that to create a new repo so here i'll choose the owner as me and then i'll name this github uh, i mean this repo name as the github username of mine and github shows that says that is a special repo and then we'll select the option to add the readme file you can also create this readme after you have created the repo and then we'll click on the create repository button uh, in the down which is uh, in the green color and you can see the readme file which is created in which it says hi there in which the code is written in the readme syntax for writing your readme file you can write it yourself but today i'll use the tool called github readme generator in this you can see there are multiple options and you, the you can give your name as the title here i'll give my name here uh, the, which is strujan and then if you want to add about yourself uh, which you want to explain about uh, yourself to the people you can Uh, add it in the subtitle section for now i'll read the same and then uh, if you have some work experience you can add it in this works section down here where you can mention the project and also the project link if it's available if you are looking for collaboration you can mention it here like uh, what tech stack are you looking for in collaboration and if you want to mention about what you are learning you can provide it here in the currently learning section and also i suggest you all to provide the email in the email section so that so many people can reach out to you on collaboration part also on hiring part they can reach out uh, they can easily reach out to you on email and coming down you can find a skill section where you can add programming languages that you are learning and also and coming down you have front end development section you can add some frameworks of the front end and also it appears as the banner in your profile when you go to the profile in the readme section like in the readme file the programming languages and the frameworks you have just chosen uh, it will show as the banner in your readme file okay coming down we have a social section in which you all can mention your github uh, username and also username of coding platforms like lead code code forces code chef and uh, so many other and also i suggest you all to provide your linkedin profile links and also twitter profile so that people can reach out to you like to find help or to hire you and anything that can happen coming down you uh, you can find add on section which represents details like visitor count batch and github profiles and stuff github related stuff so that uh, it can be showed in your github uh, readme file and coming down you can find a generate readme button after that uh, by clicking on that a code will be generated which is a github readme uh, code i'll copy this code and i'll go to the readme and click on the edit button which is on the uh, right side and cop uh, paste this code i'll commit this changes uh, so that it is committed and you can see uh, the readme which and you can you can see the banners and also the details have mentioned it here i'll go to the profile you can see the readme which i have created now uh, which uh, is shown on the profile page so this way i have created my readme profile here github is a great place to find collaborators suppose i want to build a company 
which offers AR and VR games to certain companies. So to find teammates, I'll go to GitHub and read readmes of certain people, and I'll contact them. GitHub is a social network for developers and aspiring developers. So having a nice GitHub profile ensures people will pay attention to who you are. This attention can translate into job prospects, internships, or freelance works, and also to find people with similar interests on GitHub, with whom you can build cool projects together. I hope that this video helped you in building your GitHub profile. So if you have any questions or doubts, do comment. Thanks for watching.